data types in Java. So what do we mean by data types? I'm just trying to bring up my um, extra slide notes that I created personally for myself. So what do we mean by um, data types? Um, data types just tells us um, what type of value are going to be stored for a variable. And data types can be divided into primitive and non-primitive data types. And for this particular class, we are going to be looking into the primitive data types, which are Boolean types, character value, integer and floating point. So we've got four categories which are Boolean, character, integer and floating point. Moving on to the next slide, we've got for the integer is divided into four. We've got byte, short, int and long. So I'm going to try to explain what are the differences between these um, four types of integers and also where they can be used as well. So if we move on to um, my IntelliJ screen, I've got a project open for integers. It changes. Can you see it now, please? Right, yes. So for integers, I'm going to try to bring my PowerPoint up as well. OK, so I'm just going to use this to explain integers. I was trying to bring my PowerPoint up as well. So for integers, we've got four different types, byte, short, int, and long. And for the byte, the minimum value, it takes, it accepts eight bits or one byte. And the minimum, and the minimum value is minus 128. And the maximum byte value is 127. So if I'm to add 129, it's going to come up with an error that says, um, it had to change the value or is obviously not accepted. The fact that it has a red line on it means it is not accepted. So the maximum value is 127. And for short, it accepts 16 bits or 2 bytes. And that is 32,768. So in Java, instead of using a question, a comma, you can use an underscore to um, separate your numbers to make them look um, readable. So for the short, the minimum value is minus 32,768, and the maximum is 32,767. For integer, we have an, it accepts 32 bits or 4 bytes, and this is the minimum value over here with a minus, and the maximum value here. And for the long, we have the um, minimum value and the maximum value. And you can see that we have an L at the back. If I'm to take the L out, it's going to consider that to be an integer. And it says integer number two long. So to specify that this is a long data type, you can either add a cap small letter L or a capital letter L. So this is the minimum value for a long and a maximum value for a long. So moving on, um, I'm going to try to explain um, what differentiates all of these um, types of integer data types that we have on here. And the difference is, the difference is um, when to use, the difference is um, the memory location and the range of values that each one of them can store. So we use bytes. Looking from the presentation slide, we use byte for storing memories in large arrays. 
and it is considered to be a two bit it, it's considered to be an eight bit sign twos complement integer and we use short for storing for also storing memories in large array as well and for the int and the long the long is used to store this particular one down here is used to store integer values that are much larger than that of the int. And an example of where we can use the long data type is during um, scientific calculations and for scientific software as well, when you want to calculate the amount of distances traveled by light in 100 days. So you need to use the long to store the value instead of the int. And then we use int for storing value which are relatively small. And in most cases, during our um, lectures today, we're going to be using the int data type. So moving on back to our slide. Can we all see the slide now, please? Just moving on to the next slide. Good. So for the next slide, we've got floats and doubles, which are the floating point, the types of the floating points that we have. And for the floats, we, I'm going to do some um, practical as well on IntelliJ. And the difference between them are the memory location and the precision points that they hold as well. The floats holds up, it holds up to seven precision points or decimal points, while the double holds up to 16 precision points. And I'm also going to show us um, a trick that would also be um, implemented when using floats or double. So we're going to move on back to our IntelliJ screen. Can we see that now? And I'm going to try to create a new Java class called float double. New class. Float double, and I'm just going to copy this first line here. So for this float double now, I'm going to try, I'm going to give us example of the float and also example of the double and um, out the precision point also differs. So I'm going to declare an integer first of all, int, giving it a value of 10. And we said that the float, um, the float is it holds 32 bits and the double holds 64 bits. So this is going to be for the float. I'm going to declare float. That is a data type that will be used. And the variable name is my floats. I'm going to also give you a value of 10. And the double old 64 bits, that's 64 bits, double. and giving it another value of 10 again. So I'm going to try to print them out as well. System dot out dot print line. And concatenate my variable in. Just going to copy this, paste here, and make the changes where necessary. This is going to be called and I'm going to change this one as well to my float. My double. So I'm expecting this to print um, 
10, 10, 10 out. Or not, because, right, so this printed out 10, 10, 10, and we can see that the float and the double um, is having um, decimal points at the end of them. And for us to differentiate between the float and the double, we are going to have an F at the back of them, of the float, and a D at the back of the double. So I'm going to make another simple um, calculation now. I would divide this by 2, divide this by 2, and also this by 2, and try to run again. Five, five, five. Good. Now, if I'm to divide this by three, dividing this by three, and this by three, run again. Now we are going to see the difference between the float and the double. Now, so ten divided by three is ten point three three three. But because we declared we want our variable to be an integer data type. Is only going to take the first integer, which is 3, down here. And then for the division of the floats, we said the float takes seven, up to seven decimal places. If we have to count this one now, we would have seven decimal places there. And for the double, it takes up to 16 decimal places. And if we have to count this, it's going to be 16 decimal places. So this is how you differentiate um, the float and the double data types. Float takes up to seven decimal places, and the double takes up to 16 decimal places. Now we are moving on to the next um, data type that we have. We have the Boolean and the character data type. The Boolean takes only one bit of information, which is either true or false. And for the, for the character char, it's called also called character. It takes 16 bits. It takes 16 bits or two bytes of um, code. So now we're going to have a practical example just now. And I'm going to create a new Java class as well called char boolean, character boolean. I'm going to leave it as char boolean. You know, that's the wrong one. Copy, paste. And in here, we said the boolean takes one bit. So the data type is declared boolean in small letters. And my variable type is my boolean. And I'm going to give it the value of true. And the char takes 16 bits. So that's C-H-A-R. And I'm going to put A. And I'm going to try to print out the two of them just now. System.out.print. And then print in my Boolean. And don't forget to concatenate. And I'm going to copy this, paste, and make my changes. And I'm expecting this to print out true and A.
true and A. So the char, if I put a false here as well, it's also going to print out the false. And for the char, we can also use it to print out um, unicodes. And I'm going to give you an example of how that is um, implemented in Java. So I'm going to try to bring up my I'm going to try to bring up a um, web browser now. How do I share that? Just a minute. New window. Yes. Right. So can we all see my... Um, Web, uh, my driver and uh, my browser now, sorry. I just want to make sure we can see the browser before I move on. Good. So if I'm to type Unicode table, and I would pick up the one that says Unicode-table.com, that's the first one. And I'm going to try to print out using the Unicode values. So if I click on the capital X, you can see it says U plus 0058. I would copy that and then go back to my um, IntelliJ screen. And you see where I place the value of A. I'm going to place the value of the Unicode in there and make my own changes as well. So to use Unicode in your IntelliJ, you need the backslash. Yes small letter U and take out the plus sign. So we want this, this is, we're expecting this to print out capital X for us. So let's give that a try now. Perfect. So it brought out the right value for us because that was what we instructed it to print out. So we are going to go back to our slides now. So that is us done with the different types of um, data types. We've covered Boolean, which is true or false. We've covered characters. We've covered integers, which looked into the bytes, short, int, and long. And we've covered the floating point numbers, which looked into floats and doubles.